Spooky, scary skeletons. Hail friends! I'm Ray, and for FE3 I have you a little goodie from w way back when, the old times. This is Fire Emblem Genealogy of the Holy War, or otherwise known as FE4 Binary. FE4 Binary is a very old ROM hack. Wait, back, may, back made by the FE Binary team there, a group of Japanese ROM hackers who've uh, made uh, quite a number of ROM hacks over the years. This is one of their oldest works, or at least the oldest I can remember. They they were also responsible for some other things like so, like some actually quite quality stuff like FE Girls or some unmentionable stuff like Super Thracia. <clears throat> but why are we why are we spending an old at why an old Japanese ROM hack. Well, as you can see, it's in English. Uh, Darman has very nicely provided it with a basic menu translation and some other really rough stuff to uh, go along with this patch, and uh, I gotta say, from what little I've uh, played it, it all checks out. So let's start a new game. FE4 Binary. No matter how many times I see this, it always gets me. Just the theme itself. Ah. Sorry about that. I just really like that opening. Kingdom of Ganduberu, Yugudoraru. Okay. So, the title, the chapter titles are translated a bit roughly, but they work. And things are, uh, not as they seem in this version of, uh, the Drowly Chronicles. This is a test. It's nice having script here. I probably won't bother including the whole thing for now, but at least this is progress. Sure is. So the base of the translation that Darman uses uh, from the old translation, the one before Project Naga, we were mostly familiar with. Alright, let's do this thing. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. Okay, so FE4 binary is a stat is a sort of stat, stat inflation slash rebalance slash hard mode mod of Fire Emblem Genealogy of the Holy War, which changes a lot of the mechanics to make things a little more interesting and probably send through a little quality of life changes as well. So we can see that here Sigurd is still still rocking his base equipment of a steel sword and iron lance, but you'll notice that they're these are not 50 uses anymore. They have less uses now. Steel is 35 uses and iron lance is 40. Yeah, they have they both have a weight of 10. Steel is sort of having much much higher weight than normal. Well, the Iron Lance is uh, slightly less weight. There is a weapon triangle in present. Uh, you have the ranks. You'll notice that uh, Sigurd doesn't have a star rank anymore. But he still has his major Balder blood, and still his pursuit. There are a lot of there are a lot of mechanic changes. I'm just going over. I'm just going over what we see right now, and then just gonna just kind of uh, pick and choose. Uh, one thing that definitely got buffed was Arden over here, that he, now he has these. <laughs> they made me able to use so many, so many things. A thousand different things. So let's have it. Okay, so, um, I have the read- I have the read me of what FE4 or binary changes from the base game. So, um, several items have been retooled, some were added. In, into the game. There are plenty of those. We'll go over those in a second. Um, sacred relics can be sold and bought in shops. Normally they couldn't. You can uh, have pawn them off and then have others pick them up if you want them. But only the characters with uh, Holy Blood are still required to have some in order to be able to use it. on hard, baby. 
That's the way I want it. Auto save on file one, sure. No, I want to set that fast. Yeah. Good. Um, the restrictions and inheritance for uh, uh, sword skills have has changed. Um, normally when sword skills, Astra, Luna, and Soul, they can only be inherited by uh, sword lock, or not sword lock, sword infantry. That's it. No exceptions. Zero percent your critical hit. I mean, he's honest. Well, damn it. Well, <laughs> damn it. He got crit. <laughs> I mean, you might as well just throw logic out the window and just flag it out now. <laughs> he got super wrecked anyway. So yeah, um, in vanilla FE4, like I said, um, sword skills, Astro Luna Soul, they can only be uh, inherited by uh, sword infantry, no, no exceptions. And the activation for them is that... What can I have her? They can only activate one at a time, never at the same time. So if you had Ast Astra and Luna, uh, they can only activate one or the other, not both. This this lets you know, uh, this lets other units uh, inherit them, as well as you can activate them all at the same attack. So that's nice. Uh, Pursuit got modified. Um, normally, uh, you, have, you need in order to double, you need Pursuit. But in this in this game, they made it so that um, in order. To, you can all units are able to follow, perform follow-up attacks. But they need to have six or more AS to do so. Pursuit skill just has the threshold for three or more. Mount all mounts can dismount now, just for funsy, just for funzos. I really need to help out. <laughs> Sun. Get blasted. Hey, Azel, my homeboy. Paragon works as, works as well. Um, so yeah, that means uh, Lex can now actually double. Uh, ambush has been modified to now always work, instead of being at half HP, and it also uh, negates pursuit as an added bonus, as an added benefit. Which is pretty ha which is pretty hype. See, so yeah, all mounts are are capable of dismounting. Uh, there is a branch promotion system in order to uh, implement it properly. Once you once you're able to class change in, the, in your main castle, uh, and you're being asked by Oife or Le Luin, depending on your uh, generation. See, so you can dismount. Wow. Uh, you can press X, Y, or R to change your class to something else. Also this. The Triangle Attack! Arden, Noish, and Alec are capable of performing the Triangle Attack in this. Normally no player characters are able to perform the Triangle Attack in FE4. So this is very welcome, <laughs> and it gives them a and it gives them a really good niche. There is a weapon weight uh, system. Uh, half of your strength uh, is your buffer when uh, calculating weapon weight. So uh, yeah, uh, Noish has 11 strength, so he so he's only losing five speed from this as opposed to 10. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And the seven, so yeah, four. So Alec is only losing three speed. As you can see, the stat screen is an alternate. I'm, 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 I'm reading this off of the readme from the base, from the base patch. So forgive me. And uh, as as a uh, uh, side, side casually mentioned, uh, with the ability to sell d uh, sacred relics. Uh, Minor Holy Blood characters can also use the Sacred Relics, though they only get half the stat bonuses that, that, that Major Blood characters would normally get.
So yeah, that's pretty cool. A bunch of skills got tweaked. As mentioned, I, I, as mentioned about the pursuit skill, it got it got reworked super hard. Um, Pavis. Now instead of just flat blocking damage, whenever it procs, uh, it just reduce it just uh increases your defense by twenty. You can still take no damage from from the, from the block, but uh, it will just—it's not a perfect it's not a perfect parry anymore. And when it activates, it consumes a weapon use. Uh, Miracle now provides uh, automatic avoid increase rather than activating at low health, and one and attacks that would one shot you have their ha damage uh, cut in half. Nihil cancels out Pursuit, Adapt, Wrath, Miracle, uh, Accost, Vantage, and all sword skills, but it does not block critical hits this time. Adapt's uh, proc formula has changed from uh, AS plus 20% to just AS%. percent. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Quan, everybody. He needs no. He needs no further long life. Ladies and gentlemen, Ethlin, everybody. Hey, Finn. Ah, uh, the Lee Sword. I believe this replaces the Slim Sword. The Lee Sword is going to be used by women and is effective against bandit banditry. Characters, all characters can perform critical hits now, but the crit formula is modified depending if you have the crit uh, skill or not. If you have the crit skill, the chance to crit is skill plus the standard formula. There is a formula here. Uh, if you don't have the crit, then it's half your skill instead. Oh, that's good. Uh, you can use swords. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. See, so yeah, as mentioned with Vantage, uh, it will always proc if it, if, uh, if it can. If both fighters ha have it, then the one with the higher uh, attack speed will uh, proc it for, will attack first. Astra does... Uh, mm. Astra still does 5 hits, but uh, the damage is reduced to 75% uh, instead of full. Luna now has defense instead of negate negating it entirely. And uh, the they also implement two of the unused skills from, from the internal data. Uh, Holy Sword and Mo uh, Darkness Sword. Holy Sword is Aether, basically. You proc it, it just activates both Soul and Luna. And Darkness Sword is that you get when it procs, it can proc on either your attack or your defend, or your defending. Um, if it procs on attack, you gain plus 10 attack, and if it procs on defense, you gain plus 10 defense. You can tell by those, like, this little barrier that appears whenever you perform an attack or defend. Crits now uh, do triple damage, as opposed to uh, like 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 uh, like how it is in normal fire. I'm opposed to doubling your attack before defense value. And the triangle attack is uh, that has the same formula, although it can now be although the the chance of the triangle attack activating is now uh, no longer guaranteed. It is reduced. Its base value is 100, minus uh, the opponent's luck stat. So it's, you just can't just fish for crits all the time with those now. It's getting saucy over there, having trouble hitting those guys. Weapon effectiveness. 
Weapon effectiveness has changed from being uh, automatic crits to now plus 20 attack power. And you can still crit on top of that. They are effective weaponry now. More effective uh, weapons. Uh, the rapier, the night killer, and the halberd are all effective against cavalry. The broggy sword and the rapier are effective against armors. Bows, the wind sword, and the excalibur spell are effective against flyers. The lady sword is effective against all banditry, as mentioned, and the. Broggy Sword is effective against those who use dark magic. And there are also items that are available that can uh, help uh, negate crit, uh, critical hits as well as uh, effective, effective damage. So look out for those. The Hell spell has been tweaked a little bit. It still does its intended effect uh, when it just, it just reduces your uh, HP to 1. Unless your HP is at tw already at 25 or lower, at that point it will just kill you. Normally in vanilla, if it, it can only reduce your HP to 1, it can actually kill you. And in FE5's version, it can only kill you if you're already at 1 health. The crit rate activation is uh, skill divided by 2, plus the class's crit rate, that those exist now, they didn't before. Plus the weapon's crit rate, those also exist now. Plus the kill count, minus opponent's luck stat. Every 10 kills adds 1 to the crit rate to a max of plus 10. It's no longer just like get 50 kills and then suddenly it's 50. You get 50 more kills. It's a party. It's a party up in here. And the victory bonus is 1 per 10 victories in battle. A max of 20, also shown on the status screen. This game also changed the experience formula, which was one of the things I actually disliked about the original the FE4. The, ex the experience value was uh, very rudimentary. I don't think it was just like your level plus opponent's level. If you hit, you got 10. And you, uh, you got, you got 10 minus, like, 1 or 2, depending on the level discrepancy. And if you got a kill, it was 30. And minus 3 for every level discrepancy. It was very rigid. I really didn't like it. Here they changed it, the, from when you attack, it's opponent's level plus class adjustment, minus your own level plus class adjustment, times 2 plus 10. And when you get a kill, the ten, the ten is uh, increased to thirty, and as well as boss kills. That's right, bosses give extra experience now. They normally didn't before. They just had higher levels to compensate. Like yeah, here we go. Here we got Dimaggio over here. He's level twelve. You can see his experience value. That's his boss va boss value. So that ten is added to your experience when you kill him. And Gerard over here is fifteen. So yeah, I appreciate that a lot. And the more I read, the more I read this off, the more I like it. <laughs> I like, I like, I like it when uh, FE4 really, when FE4 is tweaked a little bit. Like, I'm not, I'm not usually a big fan of uh, inflation ROM hacks, and this, this does err er to that, to that uh, side, eventually, but. The more I read this off, the more this is like, yeah, this seems legit. I'm sure I will, I would come to regret my decision eventually, but can't fool me for liking it, right? Oh yeah, for class, for class bonus, if you're a class change, you get a uh, five plus five to that value. Zell just cannot catch a break.
box. Yeah, there's also a hard mode selection, which uh, you can select on the menu. This, is, this isn't this is like the vanilla FE4, which just changes the AI. It does, this does actually affect the stats of the enemies. And the boss's uh, crit rate is also affected. And I believe that's all the mechanic changes from the vanilla. Uh, there are the weapons. So the new weapons, they got the, the Broggy Sword, Lop Sword, Lady Sword, Rapier, Dragon Lance, Scaling Bow, Dire Thunder, Excalibur, the Again Staff, and Bale of Sword. And I believe that is it. Now, for Darman's hard work on the translation, what he has translated, as we can see. Your names in general, menus, enemy names, some are truncated. Class names, item names, some are also truncated. Terrain names, they use the values from the old patch. And pretty much most combat system messages, and all, uh, most message system messages in general tend to, are, tend to be uh, translated properly. Uh, town commands, the title screen, the title cards, the fortune teller, and most placeholder dialogue is pretty rough, but I think that's mostly intentional for now. Pretty intentional for now until Darman ever decides to do maybe like a full translation. Like <coughs> This game is pretty much FE4 verbatim, except for mechanic changes, so eventually it will just be a uh, transplant of the dialogue at that point. Only the only pretty much only the bare necessities are in English, so you can play this game all the way through, but the script is most of the majority of the script is still in Japanese. And most of the castle services are still in Japanese as well. And I believe that about covers it. So, uh, whenever Zelda decides he wants to hit something, I think we can get along now. He really just cannot catch a break. Oh, He really can't. Someone please help this little boy. Fired. He's fired. Get out of my sight. So yeah, this does seem like a legitimately interesting play if you if you're uh, familiar with uh, FE4 and want a little bit more of a challenge. It's looking more a little, little more like a lot of a challenge right now. But uh, hey, you hear that from me? You heard that from me? That's uh, twenty. That's around twenty-four, twenty-five minutes. Yeah, I think that's good enough for now. And all of the rest of this speak for itself. All right, so give this a shot if you haven't. Oh, but then uh, just for the cu if you're curious, the translation uh, patch comes with the binary patch already in case you need it. Since uh, you need to apply the patch first, then the translation. So that, that's one. That's a much. That's a little bit less busy work for you. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this little uh, demonstration, Darman's translation work for a uh, solid uh, old 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 school steady standby steady patch from the, from the binary work dudes. They did go alright. At least I think so. Okay, I'll catch you guys next time, so thanks for watching everybody.